Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sunday, where we sail the Sunless Sea with me, Barlin. Now we're here at uh, Hunter's Keep and we're making our way back to London, so we're going to um, set off now. And, you know, we only went on a short journey, but we still managed to take um, some damage to our hull. And we're probably going to have to spend some of our, either some of our uh, profit from going to um, going to the salt lines or some of our favor with the Admiralty to repair our ship because our next voyage is going to be one where we're heading into um, uncharted areas and certainly more dangerous areas although even you know even the um, the lowest level of pirates do give us some trouble Now we could obviously avoid the pirates by uh, sailing with our lights off would certainly make it easier but looking at our terror that's not really something that is available to us at the moment. So we had a short little voyage, we did a bit of a triangle up to um, Renderbite, across to um, Salt Lines, back down to Hunter's Keep and the Sisters, and now back to London. And the little jaunt is going to um, supply us. So we don't have anything, um, I hope. Yeah, so they leave, that's good. So our terror is reduced to 50, which is nice. But we'd rather have it way down rather than just at 50. Okay, flee the nightmare. Turn the helm and flee across the milk bright sea. This will reduce nightmare strength. If it reaches zero, the nightmare will fade entirely. If you have any restful nights, they'll reduce the difficulty. Okay, so recurring nightmare watched. An escape. The sea churns in your wake. You pull away from the eye into the shallower waters of waking, but the terror clings. Okay, we succeeded. Um, we gained three terror, um, so we're up to 53 now, and we lost one restful night. Okay, now let's um, head to the Admiralty, submit our reports. Okay, so we've got Hunter's, Hunter's Keep, Render Bite, the Salt Lines. So here we need one vital intelligence, we certainly don't have it. Um, I'm going to try this again. Actually, no, we're not. Um, I want this one, the Admiralty Yard. Okay, so we lost 24 Echoes, we lost 3 Favor, but our hull quality is now back to 75. Okay, so that's fair enough. Um, and then I think we're pretty much done there. Um, no, let's, um, we got four more favors, so I'm gonna use one for this. So success eventually, so we got two fields, so don't push your luck on that, I think is the message. Okay, now let's go to London. Um, let's deliver Sphinx Stone. Okay, that's nice, we've now got a decent amount of echoes. Let's visit here, so there's nothing really for us there. Okay, um, let's try here. So we've got 10 echoes, okay, 20, um, 30, oh, we've got more. 
Okay, and that's all for him. Okay, so what else do we need to do then? Uh, let's go to our lodgings. Let's rest in our rooms. Okay, then let's rest again. Let's go back to the rest of the city. So with no, I don't know how we're supposed to um, go out and cruise. So, how about, so exchange. Yes, yeah, so none of those are really anything that's going to help us to, I want to reduce our terror, but I think we're just going to have to put up with it. So because of that, um, we're going to get ourselves, so the idea for this one here is to stay out for a long time. So it, needs, it means we need supplies, we need fuel. Yes, yeah, so 24 and 15 should be okay. And what we're going to do is what this one. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is to head down south, collect some reports, uh, but then head into these areas that we haven't been to before. Because maybe, who knows, maybe Nuncio's there. But, you know, Marley um, did a kind of a tour of the of the known areas um, just now, and you know, it was da it was dangerous. So she doesn't really see the point in um, avoiding the newer areas just because of danger when. Uh, even ones that are close to London and should be fairly um, mundane trips are still resulting in damage to her ship. So she's going to strike out. So oh, we want to go to the lighthouse on the way. So if we look, we want to go to the lighthouse, Mutton Island, then down to the Cumian Canal. Bad Stevener's Abyss. I wonder if there was a good Stevener. So let's jump in here. Let's speak to the crew. That's nice. We lose five terror when we go there. It's certainly something to keep in mind for the future. Because I'm sure we're going to gain lots of terror on our way. Okay, so there's something within range because we're in, we got the prompt to be in battle mode. But we're always in running mode if you can help it. This has been uh, a pretty long session for me, but I'm enjoying being immersed in the game for a bit longer than usual. Normally I record maybe four episodes on the track, um, but here um, I think this is my seventh one so far and I'm gonna be doing maybe a couple more as well <coughs> sorry excuse the cough there bit of a dry throat <sighs> but I get to fix it with some tea which is nice okay so we're gonna try we're hoping for the Z bat and not the pig I think uh, with the crawling snare. 
see. A darkness. Oh, it's something new. Okay. Uh, three of the false stars wink out to, all together, as suddenly as closed eyes. The pattern that remains is of hopeless and mean is as hopeless and meaningless as cast eye. Somewhere a sailor begins to sob. So we gain two terror. We were unlucky. So we're coming down here now to uh, Quaker's Haven. And we're going to cut the engine and dock. So we can't do anything about a wandering person. So he glances nervously back as the cock and magpie, at the cock and magpie, but his handshake is strong. Okay, so we need uh, unlock with low barnet. Okay. Okay, so first of all, um, let's chat with the fisherman. Got a port report. Now I want to visit the hilltop because I didn't do that um, last time. There's not much wind on the undersea, but Puddin Island suffers eerie gusts and buffets from an inexplicably local fragment of weather. And the air on the hilltop sometimes carries interesting scents. Toasting the wind, you stand on a cliff top looking over the little village. Smoke from the chimney of the cock and magpie drifts straight upwards. As you watch, the smoke tilts. The sudden wind thins it to a pencil smudge, then nothing. The wind screams unexpectedly, like a god cut in half. What an eyes! It must be the caves around the island channeling the air. At least, that's the most comforting explanation. Below you, the locals each take a nip from a shared flask and make a toast towards the mainland. The wind is a circle. So we gain two terror. Okay. So we need to remember that's going to give us terror if we do that. Okay. Uh, pick up the wretched mug. So I think it's about time. I don't like cats. Let me just say it now. I don't like cats. Uh, but I think it's about time that our comatose ferret was um, replaced. Meow, meow. A yellow eye mangy piebald thing winds around your ankles like a manacle chain. You've never seen a cat's mouth open that wide. Presumably it's hungry. What's that smell? It jumps down from your arms and disappears into the darkness of the ship. An hour later, five brutally executed rats are found on the foreneck. You want your new mascot by dragging him from the officer's tab to his slot at the top of the screen. If you do this at sea rather than at port, you may affect crew morale. Okay, so let's go to officers. So what are you going to do? You're going to give us two irons. So that is basically... Um, it's not really worth... I think we're going to stick... So the... The mug is going to stay there um, until we can trade him for something else, I guess. Uh, let's go back here to see what else we have. So let's drink at the cock and magpie because we need to get our terror down. It's going to cost us a bit, but um, it's okay. Cider and cave dory. The trees of the neat are scraggly and wretched. Scraping a living with paracentesis but the apples of Mutton Island are tart and powerful. Perfect for cider. Cider? Cider? This stuff is stronger than it looks. You stretch out in your seat, stare through the leaded window at your safely moored ship and find yourself whistling. The landlord gives you a friendly grin and goes back to wetting the, his cleaver. So we lost one terror and it, uh, we lost 20 echoes. So it's 20 echoes to lose one terror there. 
So it makes sense uh, when we're in London that we just use our echoes uh, to stay in our place because that's going to work out cheaper. Okay, so let's set sail. The Cumian Canal is in this general direction. Okay, but I want to go south just because of the crab up to the north who's moving at a rate of knots. Yeah, here we go. So let's continue on. Let's get around this island. And hopefully lose the crab. Nothing to see here, Mr. Crab. No, there's definitely no ship for you to worry about. Then we head more in the direction of the canal. Oh, and there's someone we need to worry about as well. the dock here Giannotti Harbour We're almost in range. Okay, cut the engines. Oh, not quite. Okay, let's start them up again and dock. So we don't want to travel to the surface. We can't anyway. Okay, uh, let's get surface gossip, gossip though. This would be a prime spot for a pub or wine shop. But the interests of the Echo Bazaar and the laws of London prevent it. They don't like competition. Still, there are temporary half-legal hostelries in long merged ships. Here you trade stories with suntanned surface sailors. Stories of Paris and Batavia, the Lost Fires and the Final Isles. So we've got a vision of the surface. We got ourselves a port report, which is very nice. Okay, and then we're going to set sail. So we're not going to spend too long there. Now, uh, I think what we're going to do, looking at where we are, uh, let's go to the south and find something here. We obviously have the Iron Republic down there as well, um, which is somewhere where we might call in. But we do have to be um, mindful of how much we have in the way of supplies. We're down to nine supplies. Soon to be eight, so. We don't, we don't want to be going too far south. We do want to see if there's something in this area. So the Z-Bat, at the moment Z-Bat says no. And still Z-Bat says no. We're just on the edge of this unmapped area. Okay, so we can cover it one nice little bit there. Now we're going to 
head more to the east and start sending the sea bat out. See, let's continue south until we get. I want to get as much of this area mapped as possible. To me, at least, it looks like too big of an area not to have something interesting in it. But the Z-Bat is disputing that fact at the moment. But we're going to uh, continue arguing with the Z-Bat. We might have to pull in at the Untershroom if we can't find anything else. So we're getting pretty close to there right now. So let's continue on just a little bit to uncover this area. Okay, and then uh, let's check the map. Okay, so let's send out one more and then cut to the. Where are we gonna go, Sam? So let's think about how much we have in the way of supplies, and that I think means we're going north. I don't think um, starvation and possibly eating our crew is something that Mari wants to think about at the moment. So instead, she's going to um, come up here and pull in at the port. Yeah, so the canal. The canal in that area is, it's a long way out of the way, I think, is a bit of the problem with it. Um, you almost have to be going, want to be going there to be heading in that direction, I think. So Mari now is going to pull in here at the Iron and Misery company funding station. Let's straighten up a bit and cut the engines and then dock. And that does bring us to the end of this particular episode. So next episode, looking at our supplies, we're probably going to be uh, looking to head back to London because seven supplies I'm not particularly happy about. Um, so if that is the case, um, we're going to head back there. We might do another run for some Sphinx Stone just to get some money. Uh, then we're going to uncover another area. So the, we got most of that area uncovered, the first area down to the south, and we didn't find anything, which is a bit disappointing. But there are plenty more areas for us to look forward to um, exploring. But for now that's the end of this particular episode so if you have enjoyed please consider liking subscribing and posting a comment and i really do hope to see all of you next time goodbye